Hello beautiful people, it's Ruby and today I have a new video for you guys. So about four days ago I got back from my annual New York summer trip. If you guys don't know, if I'm not in school I am living in New York City and then when I am in school I'm just living in my home state. So like I said, I just got back from my New York summer trip so what better way to celebrate than doing a New York Fabulous Vines? By the way, I know I'm gonna get questions on this, like, Ruby, what's happening with your hair? Well, yesterday, I honestly didn't do anything, so I let my hair grow natural, and then last night, I just slept on it, and this is what kinda happened. So I just put a headband on it, and I decided that that would be that. So yes, this is kinda my natural hair, except my natural hair is a lot more wavy than this, but it was slept on and not really brushed, so this is what we're getting today. So, yes. Today I have a New York Fabulous Finds for you guys, I don't think that this really needs much explaining, so let's just get started. Okay, so I know that usually I start with like what clothing and stuff that I picked up whenever I do Fabulous Finds, but today I thought it would be a little bit more exciting to start with the accessories and the kind of beauty stuff and the random stuff that I purchased in New York, so let's do that. Okay, so starting with like accessories, I got this pack of two headbands at CVS because I thought that these were so cute for the summer and also for the fall. They just look like this. It comes with a gray color and then a light lavender color and they're just these really pretty lacy headbands. Um, so I really like them. They kind of remind me of something like from Free People. I don't know why, but so I either use them like this just to go, you know, right across my head or I really like them also as like kind of... I guess hippie headbands, you know, where you wear them like that. And with curled hair, they just look so singing cute. And I really, really like them. They're very soft and super stretchy, so I just got them in two colors. I went to North Fork, Long Island to see my godfather while we were in New York. And at this little tiny boutique, I found this super pretty necklace. And it's just on a gold chain. And then in the middle of the necklace, it has a gold R. Little secret confession of mine, I've always wanted a necklace that either has my name on it or like my initial one of my dreams has come true I really like this I like how simple it is and I know that I'm gonna definitely be wearing it a lot at H&M I picked up the cutest necklace it was on sale actually for only a dollar which was insane but it basically just looks like this instead of it having a chain it actually has a ribbon a gray ribbon kind of a taupey color which I love and then the necklace itself looks like this it's just a bib necklace with a bunch of beads it's taupe um, kind of a light taupe um, with some like purple undertones, if that makes any sense. So I think that this is gonna go super great with a lot of things during the fall and winter. Also, when I was at H&M, I picked up this super cute makeup bag that I'm actually gonna use for a pencil case in my backpack. So basically, it just looks like this. It was about $4, so it was really, really cheap. Oh, I'm sorry, $5.99, I lied. But it looks like this, it's absolutely adorable. It's a mint green color and then it has like a bunch of junk food on it and makeup, so it has some lipstick, some nail polish, popcorn, ice cream, hamburgers, bananas. Well, bananas aren't really junk food. I had a Sephora gift card to use while I was in New York, so I just picked up another one of the Anastasia from Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Brow Pencils. Um, this is the only product that I like for my brows. I mean, I have one other eyebrow pencil that I use from Avon, but I really, really, this is like my other only product that I'll use for my brows. I absolutely love it. I just ran out of mine, so as soon as the first day I was in New York, I bought a new one. Um, I get mine in the color Ebony. I believe it's the darkest color that they offer, which is great because my brows are really, really dark. Yeah, anyways, this is what it looks like. It just has the brow pencil on one end and it just winds up. And then on the other side, it has the brow like spoolie to brush out your brows. So yes, I really, really, really do love this product. I'm such a believer in everything Anastasia has to offer. I just really, really like it, so I got that. And then along with, like I just had a few extra dollars on the gift card, I got these two Tony Moly face masks. And these are the rice face masks. So I got two, but it came in one pack. So that was nice to open and realize that there was actually two in here. Um, but the rice face mask is used for transforming dull skin to look clear and radiant. So they had a bunch of different kinds of these face masks and each of them did like a different thing. But I have fairly good skin. Um, so I just wanted one that would keep my kin, my, my kin? Keep my skin clear and healthy, and so I think that this is definitely gonna do the trick. While I was in New York, we always see um, quite a few Broadway shows every time they're up there, and one of the shows that I saw this trip was Finding Neverland, which I could make a whole video on that show. It's like one of my new favorite Broadway shows. Let me know if you guys have seen it, 
or if you've listened to the soundtrack if you're a Broadway geek like me. It is honestly one of my new favorite Broadway shows. So um, while we were like during intermission, I went up to the merchandise stand and I got this adorable little moleskin notebook and engraved in it. As you can see right there, it just says Finding Neverland. If you guys don't know, one of my passions is writing. I love writing. I've written about six books. I mean, I haven't published them anywhere, but I've written quite a few books and I love journaling and writing stories and writing short stories and writing scripts and plays and everything like that. So. I thought that this was a really, really kind of cute and unique thing to take with me from the show. And then on the inside it says, if I could write every single day, I could write all of my cares away. And it's a quote from Finding Neverland. So I really, really like this. And I think I'm just going to keep this in my purse. And every time I have like some spare time to write, I'll probably use this. Sticking with the Broadway themed things, um, if you guys have ever been to New York, um, usually in Times Square there are a bunch of these like vendors that are on the streets selling like tiny posters from various Broadway shows and you can either buy them just as posters or you can buy them with a frame. So I bought two with a frame and I got two for $10 which was awesome. I'm going to hang these downstairs in my office. When I go to college I definitely plan on taking these with me as well because I want to be on Broadway when I'm older and I just really really like the meaning that these have for me. So I got two posters of two of my favorite Broadway shows, the first of which is Pippin. Absolutely love Pippin. If you don't know the show, just please go do yourself a favor and go listen to the score and just enjoy. And then because I loved the show so much, I got a Finding Neverland poster as well. And the last kind of like random thing I got before I move into all the clothing that I purchased. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but I love me some tea. Like anytime I can have tea, I will always go for tea rather than coffee. I got two boxes of the Yogi, I really hope I pronounced that brand right, the Yogi Detox Tea. You guys, I'm not going to say anything else about this tea other than I'm going to have, I'm going to film a review for this tea right after this video because it is seriously so amazing. And that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to give anything else away, but oh my gosh, this is like one of my new favorite teas. Okay, so those are all like the accessories and kind of random stuff that I picked up in New York. Now for the clothing. Um, the first of which, like I said, I was in North Fork, Long Island to see my godfather while we were in New York. And I picked up this sweatshirt, this pullover, because it is seriously the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. I'm gonna wear it to school every day, and I'm just gonna be like the comfiest thing ever. It looks like this, it's a really pretty um, navy blue color, and then it just says North Fork, Long Island on it with two little tassels, and then it has a hood in the back. Um, all the way like completely long sleeves not three-quarter or anything I just love the way that this fits it's a little bit higher in the front and lower in the back but guys seriously this is like one of the softest things I've ever owned I've already worn it like 20 times it's it's no big deal as for the rest of the clothing I purchased while I was in New York I got all of my clothes from H&M which I love H&M but I'm usually like not one to purchase a bunch of stuff from them but oh my gosh, you guys, recently H&M has just been stepping up their game and their fall clothes are so cute. So the first thing that I got from H&M are these pair of high-waisted jeans and um, they're seriously the cutest thing ever. I have such a hard time finding high-waisted jeans and pants that fit me just because I have a really, really tiny waist but really long legs. Um, so I found this pair. They're black. Black jeans are honestly my favorite thing to wear just because I feel like they're the most versatile. So they're high-waisted. They go up like super, super high. Like when I say high-waisted, like they go past your belly button, which is what I love. I hate it when high-waisted jeans stop right at my belly button or right below. It bugs that crap out of me. And they kind of fade towards the middle of the leg, towards the knee, and then they just go all the way down. I really, really love the way they look. They're super comfy. I've already worn them a few times and they were on sale for actually like $15, which is really, really great in my opinion because I love it when my jeans accidentally happen to be on sale. Accidentally? Well, no, I knew that they were on sale, but you get my point. Basically, I just love when clothes are on sale. I got another pair of pants while I was at H&M because um, I love pants. Um, these are really, really cute. They were about $12. I got mine in a small. And so they're gray. They basically just look like this. They look like joggers. They have pockets on them. They have a um, elastic like weight or not elastic but they have like a drawstring waist so 
you can adjust depending on like your exact waist measurement which I love so I really really like these as you can see they kind of have like a drop crotch if you know what I mean um, so I thought not only could I wear these for school but if you guys didn't know I dance and so I thought whenever I'm doing hip-hop or if I'm at a workshop or master class these would be really 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 cute to wear for dance as well but they're seriously the softest things ever so on those days that I want to be extra comfy in school um, Everyone else is going to be uncomfortable in their skirts and dresses and I'm going to be like, nah man. I got some joggers. I also got this sweater from H&M. It was on sale. It's a medium. I would have worn a small except they were all out, but I liked it so much that I just got it in a medium. So basically it just looks like this. It's this really pretty blue, almost kind of, maybe not periwinkle, but it's just this really nice light blue color. The sleeves go all the way down. It's just a very, very long um, kind of thin sweater that I thought would be really cute for the end of summer, the beginning of fall. You can wear it over like plain solid colored dresses. If you guys don't know, I've been obsessed recently with any solid color clothing item just because I just, I really like solid color clothing. Um, I also got this shirt from H&M, which when I saw it, I was, the first thing that popped into my head was, uh, Brandy Melville. Um, it's just this loose fitting shirt. And then on it, like, doesn't this remind you of something out of Brandy Melville? Like, good job, H&M! Um, and then on the front of the shirt, it just has, like, all the different, um, what is the word? I got it! All the different zodiac signs on it, and then, like, all the phases of the moon, I believe. So, um, where am I? I'm a Cancer, and there it is! I also got, surprise, surprise, another solid color clothing item, because I can't stop. Somebody help me. I have yet to find a t-shirt dress that fits me lengthwise because, I mean, I'm not super tall or anything. I'm right at the 5'7 mark, so I'm not super tall, but at the same time, sometimes I find it really, really hard to find specific clothing items that fit me, a t-shirt dress being one of them. I, every time I try on a t-shirt dress, it's always way too short, but I finally found one that fits me. It's from H&M. It's just this gray color. It's super cute, kind of boxy, but it's really, really, really cute. Um, I love t-shirt dresses. I'm definitely a fan of the trend. Um, at the bottom of the dress, it has tiny little slits on either side. If you guys want a How I Style t-shirt dresses video, please let me know. It's just really cute, really soft, and I like it. I also found this shirt, which is definitely more of a summer shirt. So it just looks like this. It's a cropped, almost looks like a men's shirt, if you know what I mean. Um, but it's just collared and then it has neon pink flowers on it with a white background, obviously, and then just green leaves. It buttons up, um, so I think it's really, really cute. Um, if you wear it with high-waisted shorts, then it's not really cropped, but um, if you want to make it cropped, you can either wear it with like low-rise jeans or low-rise shorts, or you can also tie it up as well, which is what I did to add a little bit more um, of a cropped effect. Um, but it's really, really cute, and I highly enjoy this shirt. Um, the last two things that I picked up are the same shirt but in two different colors and they're both solid colors. Surprise, surprise. Recently I have been quite the fan of the crop top. Um, so I found this super cute crop top. It's again that same kind of light blue color. It's turtleneck which I thought was something that was kind of different. It's very versatile. You can either dress it up or dress it down. Like I said, it is cropped. Not too bad though, so I really like the length of this. Um, I just think it's really, really cute. And then it definitely can be worn in either the summer or the fall. And then I also picked the same shirt up in this burgundy color, kind of maroon burgundy color. Um, I think that this is absolutely adorable. This is definitely one of my favorite colors to wear. Not only in the fall, but all year round. I just think it's very flattering on like any and all skin tones. I just love the way it looks and I thought it was super cute and kind of fall and winter appropriate. And that concludes my fabulous finds. I really hope that you all enjoyed the video. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you did. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. Please subscribe, help me get to a thousand. It would mean the world to me. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will talk to you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye.